after a few months of using your phone, it can start to feel slow and performance get degraded. And maybe the problem is because of the RAM. Now what is the use of RAM? Well, whenever we open an application, the data gets stored in the RAM temporarily. So say, you are using a lot of applications at a time. The RAM must have capacity to store them temporarily and while multitasking, whenever you want to jump to another application, the application draws all the data from the RAM which is saved and opens faster and also reverts back to wherever you were on the application. If you have already opened a lot of applications and you want to jump to the first application you open and that application doesn't open as smooth as you would expect. It takes time because the RAM can only store the data to some extent. If it goes more than that, the data leaks from the RAM leaving room for the new app to work smoother. But the problem with RAM is that it isn't emptied completely. Some apps run in the background and others doesn't clean up themselves from the RAM. So you can experience slow performance, lagging and force closes. Anyway, you cannot add physical RAM like you do on your desktop. But there is a way. This can be done using an application called Rosoft RAM Expander which you can find in Play Store. Links in the description. This involves creating a swap partition on your SD card. All you need is a rooted Android device and a memory card which must be at least class 8 because the write and read speeds must be high to carry out tasks. The higher class memory card you have, the higher are the chances of increasing in performance. The application I mentioned is a paid one. So before you download that, make sure your phone is compatible because the kernel must allow this task. To check whether your phone is compatible, install the software named Memory Info and Swap File Check. Again, links in the description. Now start the application and give it super user permission and just hit the Start RAM Expander test here. Select your external SD card and start the test. After its completion, hit the test results. If it congratulates you, then you are all set. The next step is just buy the Rosoft application. You will never regret. Anyway, after installing, if you didn't like the software, you can get a refund within 2 hours after you purchase it. Make sure you have a working internet connection. Now open the application and give it root access. Here you can manually set everything, but I would recommend you tapping on optimal value so that the app itself lets you know how much virtual RAM can your phone support. Never go above the optimal value. Now there are two steps left. Just hit that swap active button and then it asks you to select the location. Select your SD card and tap OK. You're almost done now. Now the only thing you have to do is tap the swap active button once again and the process should start. Wait for it to complete. It may take as much as 5 to 10 minutes depending on the amount of RAM you selected and the read write speeds of the memory card. After it's completed, your RAM is already increased. It doesn't show up in your settings because it's a virtual RAM. But try using the phone for some time and let me know the improvement. If you found it useful, do like this video and leave a comment below. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and catch you all in the next one.